Hey Internet, it's your old friend Dominic here with the All-American Casino Guide. And today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to be playing Red Dead Redemption 2 on the PlayStation 4. You know, see how much I like this game. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Um, I'm a big fan of Westerns. And if you're a big fan of Westerns, you should make sure to subscribe to our channel because we're going to be doing more videos like this in future. Alright, so here I am in Valentine, okay, a mud-drenched little podunk, I guess you couldn't call him a one-horse town because he's got two horses here, but uh, let's see, we just got to find that saloon, uh, let's take a little step here, oh, here, here we go, this place is marked saloon, so let's take a look around here, we got some real interesting characters, the guy playing the, playing the piano, this guy's mean mugging me, I don't like that, alright, Oh, here's some boys over here playing some poker. Okay, play some poker for $2.50. Deal me in, boys. Hmm. I'm on suit with Jack Jack 2, so I guess I'm gonna call. That's all you got for us. I love games that like you get sucked into like the mini games within the game itself and not focus okay. primarily on okay. the main story. Like like when you play Zelda and you spend like just hours fishing. Come on, hearts! Where are the hearts? Oof. Still in it, but 18 cents? <clears throat> no, I gotta fold. Look at that mustache. Look at that mustache. All right, this is gonna be the hand, though. I have a feeling. This, because I'm, I'm dealing this time. I'm gonna cheat. Two king. Uh, not, not, not exactly my favorite hand, for sure. But I like kings. Kings are nice. See what you're made of. I raise. This guy's been aggressive all I'll night. See. Okay, I guess a jack could show and uh, give me a straight, ace high straight, but I'm gonna play like I already have it. He's not, he's not feeling any of my, my nonsense. I'll check. Oh God, then definitely check, because I'm pretty sure I've already lost his hand. <laughs> check these out. He had a pair of tens on the flop. All right, I got a pair of jacks. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to slow play this, because you know a pair of jacks is nothing really, but it's a good hand, but. Not good. Gets beaten. Gets beat by plenty of hands. Come on, third jack. Come on. Okay. Let's see what you're made of. I know you've got a good raise. Hand. 18 cents. Nope, even 20. Yeah, well, Lots of callers. Lots of takers. Here. I don't like this. All this raise. is like a really bad straight draw. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna call. <laughs> okay, two pairs. I'm gonna go all in over a buck sixty-two. Let's be brave. All in. Oh! My jacks lost to a pair of queens. That's what happened. See, jacks are a pair of jacks is a nice hand, but there's plenty of things that beat a pair of jacks. Queen eight on suit. Again, not a not a very good hand, but uh -huh. I like to, you know personally when I play poker, I like to see a lot of flops. Yeah. I don't feel like I have a hand at all until the flop. Like you can't even consider, you can't even really even calculate your odds. When you have just your whole cards, you, you, it's, it's not enough to determine if you actually are holding a hand. Like, but, I mean, but now I can start calculating the table odds thinking about other people. So there's four other players. I mean, so we got, you know, three players still in the hand and there's a pair of tens on the board. I know I'm not holding the 10. So there's still the possibility that somebody else is holding a 10. I'm just gonna check and see what, what they do. All right, so eight cents is what they're calling. I mean, right now we all have a pair of 10s and I have a queen kicker. It's not a great hand by any stretch of imagination, but okay. since I am playing with pennies and playing with fake money, you know, I'll take my chance. Oh, there we go. Now I got queens over 10s. All right, so. Again, I'm going. I'm going to show some strength. See if I can maybe suck out a couple of players out of the hand, or even get make, or maybe just sweeten up the pot there a bit. We go. That son of a bitch As they say, nothing right, wager, so nothing unfortunately, game. that doesn't really help me. If anything, it just complicates things because now there's three hearts on the board. So I'm really worried about a possible flush draw. But I mean, I am. I I do have queens over tens right now, two pair. 
Okay, I'm just gonna check because there's a, there's quite a bit of money in the pot. See how you like this one. All right, 52 cents, huh? All right, mm. let's see what happens. Yeah, check these out. Pair of threes. That do the trick. Oh. Three tens. There it is. See, I told you somebody probably had the third ten. It was. I knew it. I knew someone probably had the third ten. I haven't won a hand yet. I'm not. I don't know about this old-fashioned poker. All right, come on. Give me some good cards. I'm on, I'm on the big blind. What is this? Queen four on suit. Fine. I'm already. I'm. Ar I'm already committed. So. Oh, I won six cents. Bam! There we go. Big money. <laughs> There's come to Papa, six cents. Could buy myself a parcel of land with that. <sighs> Eight two off suit is not a good hand. And when you're when you're small small chipping it. Sometimes you just want a small cut. Okay, let's see if my eight two was a smart play. Watch it's like triple eights. God <laughs> You gotta be kidding me! You got to be kidding me! <laughs> I just laid down a full house. Here. Oh. <laughs> Let this be a lesson to all you guys out there. If I get knocked out of this hand, I'll, I'll probably just start shooting everybody. Twos. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I rode it on town on a stolen horse. Just like the classic Wild West, it always comes down to a gunfight at the end. Uh, I didn't have very much luck today. In the end, I was the last man standing, so technically I'm the winner. Uh, the rest of those poor saps, they're all dead on the ground, and then I had to, you know, shoot my way out of town and on a stolen horse. Uh, it was entertaining nonetheless. But guys, make sure to check out our next video where I'm gonna play some high stakes poker and see if I fare any better. Without further ado, thank you for watching. Make sure to clickety clack that like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already. My name's Dominic, this has been the All-American Casino Guide, wishing you luck and reminding you as always, play responsibly.